thank you, Mr. President. I thank Hans Grunberg and Joyce Masuya for their updates on latest developments in Yemen. India is deeply disappointed to learn that the parties have not agreed to an extension and expansion of the truce. We've seen the tangible benefits of the truce in the past six months. Active military operations had ceased. Cross-border strikes into Yemen's neighbors had halted. Civilian casualties had dropped significantly. Fuel imports through Hodeida port had eased shortages and international commercial flights out of Sana'a airport had resumed. It is time for warring parties to take a human-centric approach to the conflict and not merely view it as a military or political game. We take note that negotiations on truce renewal facilitated by the special envoy are underway and we hope that a mutually satisfactory agreement is reached soon. We appreciate the flexibility shown by the Yemeni government on the proposals made by the special envoy. We urge Ansar Allah to reciprocate this flexibility and engage with the special envoy constructively. In the meantime, we also urge all parties to maintain the spirit of the truce and reframe from provocations or any military action that could lead to a resumption of active hostilities. The conflict so far has already resulted in unprecedented humanitarian tragedy in Yemen with an enormous loss of lives, endangering millions of civilians with chronic food insecurity, as well as exacerbating the miseries of the people, particularly for women and children. The only sustainable solution to the conflict, as we have said before, is a peacefully negotiated Yemeni-led and Yemeni-owned political settlement that prioritizes the well-being of all Yemenis and meets their legitimate aspirations. I will conclude, Mr. President, by reaffirming India's strong commitment to Yemen's unity, independence, sovereignty and territorial integrity. The government of India will remain steadfast and unwavering in its continued support to the people of Yemen in their endeavor to seek peace, stability and economic development. Thank you.